All right. Well, YouTube, it's fall, and it's time for me to do my, my fall soil test. So I figured, why not do a deep dive into the My Soil Test Kit and show you guys everything you get with it, um, and then how to go about conducting a soil test. In a recent video I did on how to create an amazing lawn in 90 seconds, one of the key things I, I pointed out was that you should have good soil. And one of these bad boys is an important part of that. So let me show you what you get when you, uh, when you pick one of these up. So in the test kit, you get first a registration card. And what I've done is I've taped over my, um, my registration number, this kit number. But there's a, 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 a number that you get here that when you go to mysoiltesting.com, you plug that in, you register the soil kit to yourself, and then in about a week after you send everything in, you get your results. So that's the first thing that's in here. Uh, next, you get a uh, return envelope for your self-explanatory. And then you get a cup, like a scoop, a measuring cup, I can get it out. You get a measuring cup, and with that, you take your soil sample and you put it into this bad boy. So what this is, uh, again, I've kind of gone over some of this in my video on, on Alex's lawn, but what this is, is a synthetic root. Um, I think the actual official name, um, and my soul will probably yell at me if I get this wrong, but it's, I think it's called an ion exchange resin. And what it does is when you go out and you collect soil samples, you throw it in here, and during the time when it takes for the for this to leave from here in Georgia to get to uh, my soil for testing, what this thing does is it acts as a synthetic root and it absorbs whatever nutrients are in the soil. So instead of like test kits that go through and they bake the soil or they grind it or they do other things to it, this is simulating like what my turf grass is, is actually doing. So I mean, kind of like most things. Uh, when it comes to testing um, versus comparing like one soil test to another soil test it's really probably more important that you pick one type of testing and stick to it and then you just measure the deltas in between and that will let you know if you're making progress so uh, in june i did a test and based on that you guys saw that my iron was high and i was lacking in a few um, small micronutrients i'll put the soil test uh, results up here so you guys can take a peek at that and what i decided to do was instead of like adding a bunch of different products to the lawn i decided to do um, go the organic route. So this season, you guys know, after June into July, I've done tons of carbon, tons of uh, stuff to my lawn to try and naturally extract what's in the soil and see if it helps my soil test results. So once I go around and I get some soil samples from different spots of my lawn, it'll go in here. So what else do you need? You need some means of getting the soil sample out. Now, this is something that, that my soil makes as well. Um, it's, I guess, the soil sample tool. I'm not sure what the official name is, but it's a tool that you do. You stick it in the ground, uh, twist, and pull out a sample, and then you need something to put it into. I recommend that you just get a bucket. It doesn't have to be this big, but like a bucket that's, that's clean. So make sure you wash it out and then dry it out so you don't have any other foreign material in there that could influence the results. And then really, uh, given the size of my lawn, so if you look what you guys are seeing behind me, you're probably not seeing the entire thing, but it's it's about 8,000 square feet, 8,500 square feet or so there behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a soil test from three different locations back here, three or four, and then I'll go do one on the side lawn and then one in the front lawn, and then we'll mix it all up, throw it in here, and then we'll mail it out. So uh, let's go do that now. All right, YouTube, so let's get the first sample. Um, so all we're going to do, again, take the tool, shove it down in, give it a twist, what comes out as a sample looks like that, and then I'll knock it off, put it in the bucket, and uh, that is what you end up with. All right, on to the next location. So the, the next spot we're gonna do is, like I'll pick one here at this, at this side of the lawn, one out by the corner, so we'll just pick one right here. It doesn't really matter, you don't have to be super, super precise, but yeah, again, same thing, same process. Down, twist, there's your sample, in the bucket, over to here. Collect another one, like that. And what we're gonna do is, once we collect all these, we're gonna mix them up and then take that scoop and throw it in the um, deionized water, the exchange resin. We'll do one here more by the, um, on the side of the patio. Just so we have a good sample of what the soil is like in the back lawn. Now, if I were really being super hardcore about this, what I would do is I would do one soil test for the back lawn and then one for the front lawn. That way I'd be able to tailor what I apply. So depending on the size of your property, you might want to consider doing that, but this is just, I'm just doing a quick and dirty because that's kind of like what I did last time. So I want to be consistent. We'll pick up a sample here for the swale area and then we'll go over to the front lawn. So like right here where we see a lot of runoff, we'll do one here, twist and pull and like that and then we'll finish up here on the front lawn we'll just do two for the front lawn so 
one here. Oh, pains me. And then one more. There we go. All right. So as you guys can see now, I've got a pretty good sample uh, or amount of dirt in there. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll go back to the table. We will mix all this up, we'll blend it up, and then we'll put it in, this, in the scoop and uh, mail this out to my soul. So you guys can see how that works. See you back at the table. All right guys, so we got our sample. Uh, you can see the bucket's full of dirt and we're gonna repurpose our uh, sample collection tool just to mash some of this stuff up to create, make sure they're all blended, make sure, make a good mix, kind of like that. So what I send in is representative of the entire lawn. So there you go. So now what you see I got now is a nice blend of uh, how many of my points that was. I think we did what, four in the back, one at the swale and two in the front. So was that seven thereabouts? All right. so. Get our deionized water and our very, very exotic scoop. Look at that, guys. That's good form. That's really nice. You gotta, you gotta hand it to my soul. They hand you a little plastic scoop for getting the, the dirt out. Thought of everything. All right, so we'll crack the seal on this, get this open. And all we're gonna do is try not to spill that. Get a good scoop out. Good healthy scoop, like so. I think I may have done too much here. We'll see, we'll see if I can get all this in there. But as you can see, let me get this on camera. Just pouring that in there like that. All that beautiful Georgia goodness. Look at that. You know, I'm sure they get a lot of soil tests. When they get soil tests from Georgia, they're probably like, man, these guys in Georgia, that soil. They know, they know what it's about. All right, guys, so that's, that's good. Nice and full. And uh, now we'll just seal that up like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Let me give it a little shake there. Nice slurry. I like it. And then finally now, we are going to take that, drop it in the prepaid envelope, like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. I don't create a mess, like that. Move the sticker and mail this bad boy out. All the way down and bam. And that's it guys, that easy. That's all that's required to, to get a soil test done. And it's something you guys really should be doing. Kind of like if you're serious about creating an amazing lawn, uh, having good soil is a huge part of it. it saves you a lot of money because um, you don't spend a lot of time on fertilizers that aren't, you're getting, not getting the most out of, you're not using the wrong products in your lawn. And, uh, and they're super easy. I mean, I think these things go for, I don't know, I think there's something like $30 thereabouts. You do it like, you know, once or twice a year. I did it twice a year. I get once in June and now here in the fall just to see how the lawn is, has changed. And it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a good investment in, in, uh, in creating a golf course lawn. So guys, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, if so, please like, comment. If you're using different soil tests or if you've gotten, if you've used a test from, from uh, my soil, let me know about that too and the kind of results you've gotten. And if you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out, helps the channel out, allows me to keep making uh, great content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have an amazing day.